I'm standing just outside the players' gate for the Chicago Bulls, and as you can see, it's bedlam out here. No, it's not because it's the playoffs. These people are here for a very different reason. It's been 18 months since Michael Jordan stunned the world with the news of his early retirement. His return to basketball tonight promises to be the hottest ticket of the year. In a recent American... Hang on a minute. I think I see him. Yes, here he comes. Here comes Michael Jordan. I was saying in a recent survey by the Associated Press of American Youth, Michael is the person they most admired after their parents. Well, that's it from here. We'll fill you in on how Michael did in his big return a little later on against the Pacers tonight. We'll have that okay, for you bye, tonight. Bye. Welcome back. One more time for the bass. Out, Mike. Bet I could do it again? Bet you can. Then winner takes all. Deal. All right. Don't get nervous. That can's far away. James. Come on, sweetie pie. Let's go pie. Come on. Come on. Come on. Uh-uh. No one is excused until after you finished eating your dinner oh, yeah. and done your homework. That's right. Speaking of homework. You're not going to eat it. How's school? Fine. Mm. It's okay. Mm, okay. Boring. a lot of homework. I what do you mean boring? Come on, tell me what you did today. Do not. Do. 
Is that I supposed to be a lot of fun? You're learning something. Look, Dad, what you doing with that? I can almost palm it. Oh, yeah, let me show you. Show right, Daddy. Hey, oh, hey, oh. oh, oh yeah. Stole the ball from you. Uh, uh, hey, hey, hey. Just get the ball. Hey, hey, hey. You know what? Hey, didn't I tell you kids about playing with that ball? That's not funny, James. <laughs> Dear God, thank you for this day and for Mom and Dad. James, Ronald, Larry, Dolores, and Little Rosalind. And God, don't forget to make me taller when I wake. Amen. Come on, Michael, get in those covers. Mama, mm -hmm. every night I pray to the Lord to make me taller. How much longer do I have to wait? Oh, baby, you just keep saying your prayers, and I'm going to keep putting salt in your shoes. And one morning, you're going to wake up and just be six feet tall. Do you really think it'll work? Never underestimate the power of prayer, baby. Now go to bed. Don't forget. <laughs> There you go. Wow. Now get down off those tippy toes. All right, see? Oh, come on, baby. Be patient. Show a little faith. Yeah, but how much praying can a guy do? Aren't you supposed to be outside helping your brothers? I don't want to get dirty. I have a baseball game to catch. Don't you ever think about anything besides sports? Nice job, Larry. Yeah, just don't get too close. Michael! Michael, you little... Get back over here, Michael! Uh... Mike! Poor kid. Yeah. His parents never stop. How can you stand it? Someday they're gonna run out of dishes, Curtis. Come on, I'll race you to the field. Loser by soda. Deal. Tonight, Curtis, good job. Yeah, I broke my own record. And that's a great attitude to have. Be a team player. Go for the base hit first. Why go for a base hit when you can go foul four? Go for the home run. Okay. Well, we know not everybody's going to be hitting home runs all the time, son. Like Pete Rose, he's a star. But I'm going to be bigger than Hank Aaron. I'll tell you something. Even the stars came up through the ranks just like everybody else. Be a team player first. Maybe, maybe not. Good okay, guys. <sighs> Get going. Oh, do we have to go yet, Mr. Jordan? Is it all right if tonight I have dinner with you? You wait. Get over there. I'll tell you what, Curtis. If your mom says it's all right, you're welcome to stay over at our house tonight. Yes, thanks, Mr. Jordan. Thanks, Pop. Okay, guys, come on. Take it easy. All right. Hey, Mike. You want to give us a hand here? Oh, oh yeah. well, I live in fear of the day you have to get a job. I'm not going to get a job, Pops. I'm going to be a professional athlete. Hold it right there. Yeah. 
Now you're going to starve to death. You're certainly the laziest, most arrogant young man on the face of this planet. How come it's taking so long? I want to play. Mike, if you're not going to help us some, why don't you just scram, okay? And I don't want to see you mug around here until we finish. You understand? Curtis, give me a 916th wrench. Mike, Mike. Hey, give me, give me the ball. Give me the ball. Come on, come on. Give me the ball. Give me the ball. Now go. Get out of here. professional athlete, you got to toughen up, little brother. What is it you play again? Midget League? Mm, come on, let's go. Shrimp. something to bring you luck for the championship. Wow! Hank Aaron! <laughs> I can't believe you found Hank Aaron. Curtis would kill for this. It's his favorite player. Okay, if I gave Hank Aaron to Curtis, that would be a very nice thing to do. Hey, I'm proud of you. Okay, well, good luck on the game. Come on, you gotta get some breakfast. You can't win a championship on an empty stomach. And our most valuable player award goes to the player who batted over 500 who hit five home runs in seven games and pitched a one-hitter to get us into the championship playoffs. The player who led us to victory today, Mike Jordan. All right! Yay! All right, Mike! Mikey! Mikey! Congratulations, Mike. It was great having you on the table. Play good today. <laughs> so nice trophy. You might be okay. Dad, can you watch us for a second? Try not to get any fingerprints on. I'll try. Where are you going? We'll be right back, Dad. <laughs> hey, do you see that frog? It's all right, it's just the kids having fun. Hey, boys! Oh, 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 kids must be in the pool. <laughs> hey, what is going on here? You boys get out of that pool right now. Oh, Come on. You know better than that. Get on out there. They're just Come having fun. Come on. What I tell you? I don't want you in the same water with that kid. Come on, get out of the pool now, son. Can't believe it. I don't want you swimming in the pool with that boy. Get! Now all you boys, get out! Come on, you heard me! Now get out! You too! Come on! Come on, come on! Just a little while! We're going home right now. Hey, where's everybody going? Because I see that's why. 
Now, just what were you thinking? I don't ever want to see you swimming with them again. What's going on? Everybody got out of the pool because Michael's. My God, where's Michael? That one. Michael! 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 Michael, come back! Did you find him? I drove all over the neighborhood. Nothing. He hasn't called? No. It's gonna be dark soon, James. I think we should just call the police. Oh, man, this isn't like him. Yeah, we never should let him play for that team. Just ask him for trouble. These people not teaching sportsmanship. They just Come want to use Dolores. him to win hey, the game. Hey, 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 what's the alternative, huh? We can't protect him the rest of his life. I don't know, but he's just a kid, James. Life's tough enough. The hell is wrong with those people? You know, there's one place I haven't looked. I'll be right back. Can't hide out here forever, son. I'm not hiding. Yeah? What you doing? Ah. Uh, you can never win a game if you split the team in two, Michael. Michael, if the color of your skin is the reason those people got out that pool, that's their problem, son, not yours. Some of those guys on that team say that baseball's a white man's sport. <sighs> Michael, that is just a bunch of ignorant people talking trash. I don't want you to listen to that. Garbage. But it's not fair, Pops. I didn't do anything wrong. I'm the same as them. I'm no different. Yes, you are. Michael, you're special. Don't you ever forget that. Son, you are the MVP. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Let's go home. You played quite a game today, son. I was proud of you. Yeah, put your jacket on. Don't want the MVP catching cold. <laughs> Mike, let's go. I'll be right out, Curtis. You're still not ready for varsity, Mike. Tryouts are gonna be a killer. Come on, pick it up, let's go! Bite your tongue off someday and I'm gonna find it in the bleach. <laughs> hey, what's up? We're shoe hands, baby. Varsity hey, brothers. It's gonna be Slam Dunk City. Okay. I've been dreaming about this. He's not so bad. Jo 
you doing home so early? Are you coming down with something? What happened? Nothing. Ooh, must be a pretty big nothing. I didn't make varsity. Oh, baby, I'm sorry. I know how much you wanted that. Sometimes things just don't come so easy. But, but I've been practicing, and I, and I work so hard. I know. You remember last year when I got passed over for that promotion at the bank? They gave the job to Mr. Lewis with his foe-eyed self. Ooh, I was so mad. It was so unfair, I was much better qualified. I wanted to quit, but I stuck it out. Things changed. Now I'm his boss. Ooh, he can't stand it. <laughs> you don't give up in this family, Michael. No matter how unfair something seems, never give up. Hey, watch this, coach. See? I can do it. I can make varsity. If you work with me. Son, we've had this conversation before. Now go home. You're not even supposed to be on campus at this hour. Hey, I've been practicing at home. I work hard, I promise. We can run drills in the morning before school, and after seventh period before JV practice. Son, all the practice in the world ain't gonna make you any taller. What I don't have in height, I'll make up for in skill. Besides, I'm gonna pass six feet this year. I know it. Kid, I haven't had my morning coffee yet. You're giving me a headache. Throw me the ball. Jordan, throw me the ball. You're exposing the ball way too early. You lay it up off the glass. Let's try it again. I don't care whatever you do while you're gone. You do it because you love it, all right? All right. I don't care if it's hitting the hoops or hitting the books. You do it with all your heart and soul. You'll be successful, all right? All right, Pop. I love you, son. I miss you, Pop. Keep the faith. All right. Bye, Dad. Don't you drive too fast. I won't, Mama. Call me. Promise? I will. Bye, Mama. Bye. Bye, Pops. Remember what I told you, son. Yes, sir. Bye. Love you. Love you, too. See you later. I'm gonna miss him so much. Don't worry, Dolores. He'll be just fine. Did you pack his overcoat? <laughs> what? Come on. Let's go. Yeah, man. 
Look at these guys. It's Al Wood, James Wood, all Americans. Oh man, we're gonna get killed. Oh man, it's just a scrimmage. So you're Buzz Peterson, high school player of the year. You were recruited big time. I'm just here on a scholarship and a prayer. We're gonna be fine. Son, come here. Get up in here. Get your deny hand up. Get in your stance. Get up in here. All right, now I want you to stalk your opponent. You look for an opening. When you see an opening, you take it. You understand? Yes, sir. All right, now come on, let's go. Blue ball, let's go. Move. There you go, Mike. Stay in front of me. Use your feet. Excellent. This kid's really going someplace. Oh, go to jail. Go directly to jail. All right, it's after six. Let's go to dinner. Not over. Mike, I'm hungry. We'll order pizza. Oh, why don't you just give it up? You're not going to win the game. Sam. You know, you put this much effort into dating, you'd be going out seven nights a week. If I don't want to go out seven nights, you'll roll. Dude, it's 2 a.m. now. It. You own it, but I get 200. Why? Because this. Chance card. Ugh. Alright, it's almost over. We're getting close. Yeah. No, 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 game's not over. Come on. Oh, Mike, I gotta go to class, man. This game is over. No, look, Feeny. Five more minutes. No, no, there no, Mike, relax. Look, it's just play money, okay? Take it. Come on. You can't give me the money. I gotta win it. Face it, everybody look, loses eventually. I did not lose. What's your deal, man? I challenge you to a rematch. Double or nothing this time, you do not get bark Whoa, you need to chill out. I got a better idea. Yeah, yeah. What? Buzzboy, you see the looks we got in the clubhouse? I bet you the only black men they used to see in the cabin. Yeah, we gave them an education, huh? Yes, Whoa. we did. What did I tell you? The most relaxing place on earth. Mm. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. You don't want a driver. Save the driver for the longer holes, okay? Right. This is all you're gonna need right there. Okay, you ready? Get yourself a ball. That's a T. Okay, ready? Bet I could beat you on this hole. But you don't even know which club to use. Hmm. You willing to put $10 on it? Everything's a competition with you, isn't it? Oh, okay. I got it. Afraid I'll embarrass you. <clears throat> Ten bucks. Good. Let's see your stuff, hot shot. Watch me. Oh, yeah. I think I'm gonna like this game. Never played golf before. Nope. Never. Never. Come on, buzz boy. Putt. Mike, we're teeing off, okay? Not putting. Oh, yeah. Right. All right. Now watch how it's done, okay? Try to remain as still as possible, please. I'm watching. Oh, look short. Ha ha. Oh, just just hand this over right now. That way it won't hurt so much later. Get Aha. out of here. Thank you. Why couldn't I get a regular roommate? One who drinks too much beer, ditches classes, doesn't know how to sew. <laughs> oh, come on, buzz boy. If I didn't put cuffs in those pants for you, you'd be looking like a fool. Let's go. 
Come on. Uh. Come on. It's up on the board by his office. Oh, move, 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 move. Push it, man. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Oh. Yes. Woo. Hey, hold, hold, hold up, partner. Your name should be up there too, boss. Get off of me. <laughs> Yeah. At least I can still beat you at Monopoly. Hey, whoa! Wanna put some money on that? No. Why not? I don't want you to lose your confidence. All right, Mike. Bend your knees. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like that. Underneath. There you go. Aim for the front of the rim now. Steve. Yeah, just take two. two ball out. Becky's roommate's been asking about you. She's totally hot. Nice and steady. You know, all right you there. do is you stay in this room and you study, and then you go to the gym and you play hoops. You're living like a monk. Look, that's why I'm a star. Mom, <clears throat> James Worthy went to draft two years ago when he was a junior, and look at him now. Even Coach Smith suggests that he uh, seriously considered this offer. With all due respect, Mrs. Jordan, I think Michael's probably gone as far as he can in the college game. And there's no zone defense in the pros, and the wide open game will cater to Mike's style. Mike's style is to finish what he started, Buzzy. Now, you got two semesters to finish college, I'm not gonna see you walk away from it. Lawrence. Mike was uh, third pick in the draft. The Bulls are offering him a seven-year contract worth $6.15 million. Now, he won't be the third highest paid rookie in NBA history. You can't put a price on education, James. Now, you're his father. You ought to be on my side instead of sitting over there but mama, I, I swear, I'm, I'm gonna finish my education. Michael, you go away to Chicago now, and you're not gonna have time. You're not gonna think about school. Y'all raised me better than that. I mean, I won't let that happen. And besides, we could use the money. See, that's what this conversation is all about, money. You, you don't owe us anything. We're your parents. We're glad to do it. Someday you're gonna do the same for your kids. Baby, all I really care about is that you finish your education. Mom, mom, I swear. Summer sessions, night school, whatever it takes. I'm finished. I don't know. I still say they're getting your dirt cheap for six point one five million dollars. <laughs> <laughs> don't you think we could double that figure if we waited till after you got your diploma? <laughs> Come on, come on. Come on. Next time I'm gonna let my mama negotiate my contract. <laughs>
Boy, that kid's really good out there. It's Michael Jordan, it's my son. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm Lou Curtis. I'm with security here. Nice to meet you, Don't forget, Kurt. next Tuesday, North Chicago Bulls take on the Milwaukee Bucks. Every child in attendance will Come on, Braxton! Pay attention, I'm not playing any problem. Tickets myself. still remain What's the ball? Chicago Bulls home games. Well, I wish him luck, because he sure gonna need it. Ain't playing no deep. Man, I'm bad. I messed up with you, man. Hey, man, look. Y'all just, just... Teammates letting you down, Michael. These guys are my teammates. Me and my supporting cats. That's right. I'm talking. He was hot-dogging it all over the court. Yeah, chill out, man. Driving up the middle, going baseline, yeah, yeah. never passing to any of us. He missed as many shots as he made. And he acts like we're his cleanup crew. We are. Man, that's garbage. Every time the team loses, he makes it seem like it's totally our fault. Yo, take it easy, Brock. He's a traitor. The newspapers are saying, thank God for the Archangel offense. You know why? Because when things are really going bad, we give the ball to Jordan in desperation. And we say, Michael, save us. That's right. All right, here you go, bro. You're going to put that in nice, man. Hey, how come you never clean up in here with the rest of us? I just like to be dressed before the press comes in. More professional. You're saying we're not. Brock. Your performance speaks for itself. Come here, man! Come on, talk to this girl! Come on! Come on. Save it for the game, Brock. We can use that testosterone out there on the court. <laughs> hey, Pop, it's almost time for the game. Come on. Son, I think you did the right thing by shaving your head. Makes you look more like your old man. Handsome. What you on that game on again? Michael, you've been here how many weeks now and you still don't have a sofa? What the... What are you doing? Hey, I ordered one, Mom. I promise, I'm gonna take care of it. You and Pops, you've been here a month now. I was wondering if you were bored. I set up house for all your brothers and your sisters. You're no different. Well, hey, you know, maybe he's right. Maybe we should go on home. You know, give the boy a chance to have a little independence. This said from the man who set up the guest room as his very own. Well, come on, Dolores. Why shouldn't I enjoy myself? I'm retired. You know, I love to travel. L.A., New York, Phoenix. Oh, Pop, you're gonna love Phoenix. We can play golf in the wintertime. Golf in the winter. All day. All right. <laughs> Y'all sound like a couple of teenagers. You feeling left out? Well, son, you know your mother, she loves you very much. It's not easy to let go. Oh, I can let go. That's right, James, I heard you. I want to let go of both of y'all. As soon as I let go of this big bag of trash, my son, the black six million dollar man is too lazy ball headed ain't got no soul hey, i just wanted to watch the game mom then i was gonna put it out no okay, no, it to me now. no yeah i mean come on i need your hand Not tonight, but thanks for coming. You're great, Michael. Hey, Mike, don't forget the party tonight. Waterfront Hotel on Lakeshore Drive. Should be fun. I'll try to make it. Don't try too hard, brother. I'm not your brother. I just don't understand what these guys are doing, Pop. Some of the best talent I've ever played with. I mean, the potential is incredible. I mean, these guys, they're not even close. Let's call them Looney Tunes and Substance Abuse. Well, son, they probably don't have much nice to say about you either. I'm not paid to be their friend, Pop. No, but it wouldn't hurt to listen to what they have to say. The press is saying the Bulls don't stand a chance of winning a championship if you don't stop showing off. I don't need any lectures tonight, Pop. You got too big and famous to take advice from your old man, huh? Michael. You won't rein in your game that's costing your team. For example, you never pass Robbie Squires. He's always standing there. You don't pass to him, it makes him look like a fool. Pop, every time I pass to this guy, he chokes. Well, give the boy a chance. I appreciate the advice, but I really don't think you know what's going on out there. Jen. Hey, man. I thought I'd find you here. Like some company?
thought maybe we could go over some of those moves from last night. This place is nice. Nice, look at this place. This is awesome. Glad you like it. Also glad you brought your clubs. Maybe we get a few games in while you're in town. Yeah, give me a chance to win back some of my money. Doubt it. So, how do you like being an assistant coach? Uh, you know, it's a start. Got some really awesome players at State, though. They're always taking bets to see how long you're gonna stick it out with the Bulls. Well, you know, things are starting to get a lot better. We're starting to gel. I mean, that Archangel offense is starting to work? Only against guys like you. <sighs> but we can still use a new coach. Hey, whoa, whoa, Mike, what's going on here? We're not staying in tonight. I mean, I thought we could, you know, talk, catch up. Basketball, Mike, this is my vacation, OK? I'm in the big city. You know, I want to take in the sights. Ah, uh, OK. Uh, maybe I can make a few phone calls, okay. see what's happening. <laughs> maybe Trump. there's a party or something. Makes me fly coach, then he won't even take me out on a Friday night. Unbelievable. And I said, hey, Mike, you know what? You got to just put a little bit more rotation on the ball, maybe give it a little bit more arc, and then start dropping for you. And of course, they did. And you know, we won the game that year in 82 in Georgetown. So I like to take a little bit of credit for him making that shot, because I pretty much you know, showed him the proper rotation. Not to say that he's not a very skilled player himself, because he is. Do you guys want to meet him? Because he's here. Why would you do that? That's not good? He's right over here. See if he's available. Why don't you guys hang on right here? Mike, 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 Mike. Why don't you check out this music? Excuse me. Have you seen him? Yeah. Do you know him? Not yet. Well, go introduce yourself. In a minute, in a minute. Dude, you're Michael Jordan. Stop being such a wuss. Wuss? <laughs> wuss. <laughs> Where did I go? Now? Excuse to go introduce yourself. Go on, be right here. You're a big boy. Hi, what's going on? How are you guys doing? Hi, right, thank you very much. You're out of ice, ladies. I need to check on those appetizers. I can help you. Okay. Here you go. Thanks. Is there anything else I can help you with? Why are you doing that? With the salt? Mm -hmm. Kind of brings up the flavor. Well, you're turning them into potato chips. It's a natural fruit. They don't need any salt. These are winter peaches. They need all the help they can get. Here, try this. Mmm. Not bad. Yeah, mm -hmm. Well, we kind of want to put salt and pepper on our grits. No, I happen to be the kind of woman that puts sugar on her grits, for your information. <laughs> what are you, a food critic? No. What about coleslaw? You put it on your barbecue? No, I don't do that, because that would be absolutely disgusting. I hope mm. you don't do that. It would be one big pile of mush, you know? Mm. Now, you've got to go, because I've got to get back to work. Besides, your ice is melting. <laughs> Bye. I don't even know your name. Did you see her? She was absolutely beautiful. You know, I'm convinced she didn't know who I was. You know, you gotta be careful, Mike. You don't know if these girls are dating you or a growth industry. So I'm invited to a game. I'm just gonna razzle-dazzle her with my superhuman ability. You don't know anything about her. Her name is Juanita Benoit. She's an executive secretary at the American Bar Association. Juanita Benoit. Final score, Detroit 97, Chicago 84. <laughs> oh, here he comes. Oh, look. Oh, Michael. <laughs> Oh, you guys play really well anyway. Hi. Hi. Oh, there he is. Oh, there he is. You know they all want you, Mike. Yeah. That's right. Yeah.
great. Oh. Um, sorry to keep you waiting. Mm. 45 minutes. <clears throat> the reporters. So, uh, do you enjoy the game? Oh, very much, thank you. I'm not used to sitting courtside. But, uh, I have to admit I'm not a huge basketball fan. Sorry you lost. We can talk about it over dinner. No, Michael, I don't think so. As I've told you before, I don't really feel comfortable dating a professional athlete. It's just dinner. We don't even have to call it a date. Hmm. What do you call the phone calls and the roses? They were beautiful, by the way. Everybody in my office was quite envious. But Michael, it's not right. I don't want you to get the wrong idea. Because I'm an athlete? No, no. Oh, I want to hear and, this. <laughs> well, they sleep around. They drink too much. They're arrogant. And a lot of them have forgotten where they came from. Yeah, just um, speak your mind. Don't hold back. You seem like a very, very nice guy. And I'm sure there are thousands of women just clamoring to go on a date with you. So I don't think we should fool ourselves into thinking that this could work out. Good night. What you smiling about, man? You just don't you, do? No, it just looks that way. Dream on, brother. Dream on. That woman's gonna be my wife. Anybody here? Hey, who turned out the lights? This is warrior music, gentlemen. From now on, this is the official theme song of the Chicago Bulls. Phil, your assistant coach has just been promoted. We're gonna play some ball, gentlemen. We're gonna apply aggression without anger. We got a championship to win. Right, get hot, get hot, get hot. Get hot. Get up, baby, watch it. All right, all right, all right. Here we go. Back, set the pick and just roll to the basket, okay? Surrender Come on, gentlemen. We'll oh, work together for the best way to Just work together with this, all right? Come on, Adam, let's go, guys. Hello? Anita, hey, it's Michael. Oh, hi, how are you? Where are you? Uh, I'm in practice. Hey, look, Phil being promoted was the best thing that, that ever happened to this team. Hi, this is Juanita. Leave a message and I'll call you back. BJ, can you pass Juanita, it's Michael. Hey, look, I was wondering what you were doing next Saturday. I thought I might cook us up a. Well, actually, it would be a little surprise. Get right into the corner. Horse, you stay center court, okay? Good. Now, Michael, make sure you're going to have the scoring advantage on this side, just like always. So keep focusing on this. Coach Phil Jackson, the Bulls are showing real promise this season. Watch how Pippen, Jordan, and Grant work together to demolish the New York defense. Together, those three combined for 63 points, 18 rebounds, and 13 assists. In other news around... Are you there? Pick up. Did you see the game? We were beyond incredible. <laughs> they call me back later. I'm just hanging out with the guys. Let your breath come out. Um, keep your eyes closed. Um, Guys, concentrate. She hasn't call you back, Mike. It's getting late, bro. Right. Not a good sign. Oh, she'll call. We're just trying to keep this low key. It's taking me months to get this woman to come over for dinner. Mm -hmm. You can have any chick out there. Why are you chasing one that isn't even interested? Because I love a challenge. What did you have to promise? <laughs> Dinner. 
Hey, are you sure you didn't order all of this from the Italian restaurant down the street? I'll have you know I've had home economics in three years and my mom's a great chef. Hmm. Oh, see, you think I lied. Huh? <laughs> Is it hot? Okay. Mmm, mmm. It's good, very good. Excellent. A little salt. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've never done this for anyone before. I can't believe you really did all this for me. I've been cooking for three whole days. I have to admit, I've never had a man go to all this trouble. And I'd do it again in a minute. Mm. Just a minute. What about Tana? It's what my waves are for. Hey, Pops, it's Mike. I'm coming home. No, 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 no. Nothing's wrong. But I got a surprise for you. Pass that, honey. Yeah, kid. Yeah, kid. No, hey, try kids. This now. It's, it's, it's good. Go. Leave some food. Potato salad. Yeah, leave right. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, y'all remember to make them feel welcome, all right? right? Oh, they're here. I got to get Delore. Here we go. Here we go. Wait, wait. Michael, I'm a little nervous. Oh, no, honey. There's nothing to be nervous about. It's just my friend Leroy Curtis, my brother Larry. Come on, let's go check it out. Right. Delores. Just relax. They're going to love you, I promise. Hey, Michael. Sweetheart! Don't worry, you look beautiful. Let's go. Ready? Come on. <laughs> hey, hey, good heads. Hey. <laughs> How you doing, honey? NBA, uh, baby. Look at you, shorty. Hey, hey. James. Good. Yeah. Hi, Mike. Nice to see you. Yeah, nice to see you. Hey, she's all right, Mike. She's all right, bro. She's all right. Bro. She's all right. <laughs> Juanita, it's good to finally meet you, girl. Oh, listen, you call me Pops, okay? Everybody else does. Okay, Pops. Right. <laughs> Mrs. Jordan. Juanita. You look famished. Come on, let's get something to eat. Okay. Yeah. Come on, Mike. The girl got yeah. nice teeth. Yeah. 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 Nice teeth. So how's it going with the new coach? <laughs> Feels a little different. Yeah, huh, different. Yeah, you better be more than that. <laughs> Watch TV doing playoff times. We're gonna be there. <laughs> oh, here, take what you have. That barbecue was delicious, wasn't it? Just stop. Mrs. Corrigan, please let me help you with some of this. Oh, no, 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 dear. I wouldn't want you to dirty any of those fancy clothes you wear. Michael tells me that you have a very good job. I work for the ABA. Ah, career woman. Yes, my career is very important to me. Michael told me that you always work too. Yes. I think that a woman should maintain a certain amount of... Independence? Yes. <laughs> exactly. I'm glad you agree. Well, independence cuts to waste, dear. When it comes to raising a family and being an ambitious career woman, something's got to give. Well, um, of course, children should always come first. That's why I'm planning on taking a few years off when they're young. Then you must plan to marry a man who has money. <laughs> well, nothing personal, just that that certainly would make it a lot easier. Mrs. Jordan, I think you've misunderstood. I wasn't talking about Michael. We're all very concerned in this family with the kind of woman Michael brings home. I love my son. I don't want to see him hurt. I don't know why. I always thought he'd go for somebody from his own hometown. Someone simple, hardworking, with values. A woman who's in for the long haul, not the fame and the money. More lemonade? Ah, how my two favorite women. <laughs> well, I got to get these dishes started. Oh, honey, what's wrong? She hates me. She hates me. She hated me the moment I walked in the house. Whoa, 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 whoa. I want to go, Michael. Wait, hold, hold. No, Michael, I want to go. My mom's not like that. <laughs> I want to go. Honey, honey, look, look, look. Just let me talk to her. No, right? I don't talk one... to her, Michael, because it's just going to make it worse. Please. No, give me a minute. I'm going to talk to her. Mama, what'd you say to her? Somebody's got to look out for your interests. I love her. I tell everyone that I meet that she reminds me of you. Don't be silly. We have nothing in common. Mom. Except for me. 
You got me in common. I love her. She's the one. Mrs. Jordan, I'm very sorry that things didn't work out. Juanita, I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. I... The day you become a mother, you'll understand. Yes, well, maybe while Michael's home this summer, you'll be able to introduce him to some of those local girls you were bragging about. Home this summer? I, I don't understand. He's enrolled in summer session at UNC, didn't he tell you? You'll be able to watch over him like a hawk. Michael is going to finish college? He's been postponing it for way too long. I told him that it was very important to me that he get his degree. Michael said we had a lot in common. I think he was right. You know, I got five kids and no dishwasher. Imagine that. Five kids and no dishwasher. <laughs> Why don't you come help me and tell me about your parents? Now, where are you from? Oh, 
Thank you, son. All right. Bye. We going for a ride. Okay. Yeah, let's I go. I want you to be the first to drive. James. James, this car is too Oh, we're going for a ride, boy. Oh, 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 right. I don't need to blow my I already got my way. Oh, no. Oh. All right. <laughs> this, we be back. Too fast. All right. See you later. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Hey, mom. Slow down. Papa got a car. Get yeah, right on. Finally got that being history. Yeah, way to go. Thanks, Mike. Oh, come on, Dave. You seeing geometry? The teacher doesn't like me. Some days Phil Jackson's all over my butt, but I still do my best every day. All right? See, I'm going to be a pro ball player like you. Make millions. Who needs school? Jason, look. Playing ball instead of hitting the books is like spending your food money on lottery tickets. It's not smart. Hey. Matt, one more C's, got it? We're gonna stand him on that? Alright, enjoy the game. Thanks, Mike. See you later. Michael, over here. Hey, Mike. How about it? Who's Thank gonna you. win tonight? One more, Mike. Did you see the article in the paper this morning? Now they're calling me America's foremost working class capitalist. Ah, uh, it's playoff time, Mike. Press do anything for a headline. Hmm. Suddenly I'm not black enough. I don't do enough for my community. Give me a break. Yeah, they hold you to a higher standard. You know that. Look, ever since Jeffrey's been born, I feel this responsibility to be a role model. I mean, for all kids. Black kids, white kids, green kids, yellow kids. But the press, man, they just don't let up. Every time there's some crisis in the black community, I'm supposed to do more, be more vocal, be more opinionated. I mean, they make it sound like Magic Johnson and I are the only wealthy black people in America. Michael! Hey, Mike, you turn this way! Come on! How about hey, it? Mike, over here! That's good! Yeah. Oh, oh, man, Mike, Mike. no. Mike, what are you doing? Where are you going? Where are you going? Hey, Mike, feel smart. Come on, go on. Mike. Come on. Let him get you. Come on. I can't believe it. Mike! Come on, turn around one more time. Absolutely unbelievable. Well, folks, if you just tuned in, the New York Knicks have just defeated the defending champion Chicago Bulls in this, the third game of the Eastern Conference Finals. Michael, how does it feel to lose to the Knicks? Yeah, Mr. Awesome. Jordan, do you have any yeah. comments, sir? We have nine shots in the third quarter. What's wrong? Under a lot of pressure. We hear you want to rush to the finals so that you can take on Phoenix and get some golf in. Come on, guys, give me a break. We're here to talk basketball. Ask me some real questions. Taking up shots in the pain. Mm -hmm. You know, tomorrow's a day off, son. I suggest a little R and R. Can't pop some too much on my mind. Well, thinking about your problems over and over, son, it's not gonna do any good. We're taking tomorrow off. Pop soda. So, how'd you do? I'm down a couple hundred. It's not so bad. 
chips are like play money. I never know where it all goes. Son, there's a reason why there are no windows or clocks in these places. Mike, are you crazy to sober four thousand dollars? I don't like your pops. Reminds me of little leagues. You're always telling me to go for the single instead of going for the home run. Yeah, well, you know, I always thought you'd end up being a major league player. I never know, pops. I never lost my love for. Dealer wins again. Okay, well, time to pack it in, son. Just uh, one more hand, pops. Michael, son, come on, it's time to pack it in. Uh, <clears throat> hello. What time is it? <sighs> what? New York time. This is crazy. Pops, can you believe what's in that paper? See, it says I was out gambling till 2 a.m. in the morning. Pop, I mean, who are these people? Settle down, Mike. It couldn't have been later than 11. I'm sure, I'm sure we left by that. I don't believe this. You're saying the Bulls are playing badly because I'm out gambling all hours of the night in the middle of a series. Pop, this is wrong. I would never let anything interfere with my play. They're messing with my professional reputation. camped out all morning. Or maybe you shouldn't take practice today. I haven't done anything wrong, Phil. Michael, the public wants to know if you have a gambling problem. No. There are no reports that you have huge debt from betting no on golf. Have you ever wagered money on NBA games? I have no peak goals. What about Atlantic City? Listen, it was my idea to go. I thought Mike could do smart enough. No comment. Michael, how's it feel to listen? Look, I want to reiterate that I was not at Bally's until 2.30 a.m. playing blackjack. But the New York Times says... Hey, it look, is. if you say one person saw me there at 2.30, show them to me. I'll sue them for slander. Show me one eyewitness. Do you frequently gamble at Atlantic City? This interview is over. Michael! Michael. Why are you reading that garbage? I thought you played golf with Buzz. Who's this guy? Eskinas and I play together when I'm on the West Coast. The press is just making a bigger thing out of this than it is. Michael, the NBA is formally investigating your gambling activities. It doesn't get any bigger. How much money do you owe? I'm not here. Hello. Michael, it's your PR people. They've been calling all evening. The Tribune wants an interview. No! Sorry. Why is it everyone knows what's going on except for me? <laughs> Michael, you wake the boys. Look, don't tell me what to do in my own house. Michael, you're the most competitive man I know, but it just seems like sometimes you don't know when to stop. Maybe that's just the price that I pay, all right? No, Michael, it's the price we pay. We. We are in this together, whether you like it or not. I'm gonna go talk to Pops. He'll know what to do. Michael, you can't go running to your father every time there's a problem. Why are you so jealous of our relationship? Nothing could be further from the truth, and you know that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just, I don't know what to do. 
I talk to the press, they'll crucify me. If I ignore them, this, this just gets worse. I just didn't want them to hassle you. If I couldn't take life in the public eye, I never would have married you. Being hassled comes with the territory. But we can get through this. How? I don't know. But I do know the longer you put off talking to the press, the worse it looks. Well, I can set up an interview with someone that I trust. I don't remember the exact amounts, but what he's claiming is preposterous. But we're both avid golfers with handicaps between like five and seven. We like to put money on our putts. Well, Esquina says that at one point you were down six hundred twenty-six thousand dollars, and you suggested a double or nothing bet. Ma, he's calling this book Michael and Me: Our Gambling Addiction. My cry for help. I mean, it's even self-published. Obviously, no reputable publisher would touch it. I mean, he's just trying to capitalize on our friendship. Well, NBA Commissioner David Stern held a press conference today where he said that betting on golf and going to Atlantic City is not a violation of any NBA rules. Of course not. I haven't broken any laws, yet I am being tried and convicted every day in the media. Well, it looks like we're running out of time, Michael. Why don't you tell us what's next? Yeah, let's put all this behind me. Go out here and win this championship. The game is over! It's over! Unbelievable! Whoa! Unbelievable! The Bulls have done it! Three in a row! The first in Bulls history! You know, Brother Jordan, I've been working this joint for many a year. I never thought I'd see the day when they do a three-peat. Yeah, a lot of people surprised. I'm telling you, before Michael come here, you could have shot a cannon through this joint. Boy, you wouldn't hit a soul. You hear me? <laughs> yeah, Michael, he, he definitely brought about a change. I'm telling you, he did that, brother. Well, what you gonna do this summer, man? I'm thinking about going down to North Carolina. A lot oh, yeah. of people I want to visit, you know? Yeah, I guess I'm gonna see you down there. Time to celebrate. All right. Yeah, I'll come. Brother Jordan, you take it easy. I'll see you next season. You take care of yourself. All right, Doc. All right. Yeah. Hold on. Coming. Hello? Hi, Dolores, how are you? No, I'm... Michael's outside with the kids. No. No, we haven't heard from him, no. Michael? It's your mom, she needs to talk to you. Oh, honey. Oh, oh, oh. And a quack. Oh. Hey, Mom. Hey, look, let me call you right back. Jasmine's crying up the storm. All right? Huh. Dad's supposed to check in from the road. Yeah. You call the police? We'll be the first thing in the morning. Mom, don't argue with me. We'll be the first thing in the morning. Michael, I came as soon as I heard. Can we use you? Not yet. Glad you came. Okay, guys, I need you to settle down. I need you to be quiet, okay? Bye, Mom. Bye, Mom. Because everybody's really worried about Grandpa, that's why. Talk us off. Yeah. Let's They want us to stay at home and sit close to the phone. This is driving me crazy. I'm sorry, Mike. I found this car a couple of days ago out on Highway 74. It's totally stripped. There's no sign of him. Besides that, someone was using the car for him, but it wasn't him. Like the FBI, they're treating this like it's a kidnapping case, but I don't know. It's like they should be doing more. Hey, hey, whoa, 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 hey, hey, hey. 
You need to be worrying about staying positive. They're gonna find him, okay? I promise you that. Hello? Yes, it is? Yes. No, 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 no. Oh, no. When I got older, he was still always there for me. On the road, during the playoffs, whatever I needed, he was there. Growing up, we never had a lot. Pop used to say he felt like the richest man in the world because of his family. He was always giving us gifts. He seemed to know exactly what you needed, whether it was a word of advice or a shoulder to cry on or a pack of baseball cards. He touched us all. Pops taught me that hard work and faith got a man through the tough times. I never really knew what that meant until today. My name is Jim Coleman, director of the North Carolina State Bureau of Investigation. What happened to Mr. Jordan was the kind of random violence that everyone is concerned with. That could have happened to any one of us. Was this crime racially motivated? We don't know that yet. Is there any connection between Michael's gambling debts and the death of his father? Well, why are certain Do you think there's any mafia connection in this crime? Michael's gambling debts. Do you think that Michael's name is connected? Ladies and gentlemen, the two 18-year-olds who were arrested have previous criminal records. Now the suspects have been jailed without bond. Now let me repeat, the two 18-year-olds who were arrested have previous criminal records. Mr. Jordan. No comment. Mr. Jordan no is a known gambler. Do you think that? Dang. I lost my ball. I lost my best friend. Do now. It's been building since the funeral. I love the game of basketball, but I've come to a point in my career where I have nothing more to prove. And I want to be remembered as the guy who gave 110%. There's one thing that my father's passing taught me is that all this can be taken away at any moment. And there are more important things than basketball and fame. That's my family. Michael, Michael, how do you feel about this being your last championship? My father saw me play my last game, so that, that's all that's important. What was your special contribution to basketball, Michael? Uh, the town. <laughs> I don't think you ever saw anything like it, and you probably never will again. Michael, Jordan, what about can we just ask you one more? Do you have any?
Michael, would you stop packing for a second? We need to talk. I wonder what the humidity is like down there this time of year. I bet Birmingham is a lot hotter than we're used to. Honey, are you sure about this? I mean, you just announced your retirement a few months ago. I know you, you've been feeling sort of depressed, but... No, no, baby, come on, look. Baseball has always been my first love. All right, it's something that Pops and I, we've always talked about. I mean, if he were here, he would just jump at the chance to go down there with me. But he's not here. And you're going to be there all alone, just you and the press. That's not what this is all about. Well, then explain it to me, Michael, because I don't understand. I... I, I need to start my life again. I mean, it, ever since Pop died, there's just been this empty spot. And basketball used to fill it for a while, but uh, hasn't for a long time. Just feel lost. Well, then go. But do it for yourself. Not for your father and not to prove the press wrong. I, I am. I need to do this. I know people think I'm going to fail, but I'm not afraid of failing if that's what happens. Sometimes failure brings you closer than where you need to be. And where is that? I have no idea. <laughs> but maybe that's what this journey is for. You know, you're starting to sound a lot like Phil Jackson. Go. Go if it helps take the pain away. When you guys gonna throw some balls with me? Okay, what about Pepper? What? Strike. 
We already talked about this, Ron. It was not part of our deal. Well, management's decided that anybody who doesn't play the exhibition games is going to be banished from the clubhouse. With no exceptions. I'm not going to be a strike break. Michael! Mike! If you keep up the hard work, you're going to finish the season hitting a very respectable 260. Now, you've stolen 30 bases. You're fifth in the league. Don't throw this all away. I don't need baseball to make a living. I can walk away from it. But these kids, the White Sox, are their one chance of making it in the big leagues. They cross that line, and the union will freeze them out when the players come back. Well, every player's got to decide for himself. You're just putting these kids in the middle here. I used to have this dream about playing baseball, man. But not under these circumstances. Life is just too short. The professional athletic world is rife with rumors that Michael Jordan is returning to basketball. Speculation is so great that on Wall Street, the market value of the five companies whose products he endorses have jumped a cumulative $2.3 billion in the past 72 hours. See the day. I'm just full of surprises. <laughs> Glad to have you back. <laughs> Is there any left? No, no. I stopped loving the game. You know, something that Pop always taught me, you gotta love what you do. And I just I just lost that passion, so I had to walk away. <laughs> but I'm not feeling that way anymore. So you're uh, your journey's brought you back home again, huh? Yeah, you could say that. Well, you ready for some Indian war drums? Can't wait. See you out there. And then Barr, one of the greatest players in the history of the game. Chicago welcomes back number 45, Michael Jordan! Tell you what, one more shot. Ah, 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 ah. No. Come on. It's too far. Oh, you can do it, son. But you gotta have faith. Yes! <laughs> you know, Mike, someday you're gonna be something really special. Hello, Pops. I know. <laughs> Son, you keep practicing, you just might become a pro. Will you come to see all my games, Pops? Every one of them, Michael. Every one. 